Hey there. It's oh, such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Blue sky, bit of sun, about five hours of sunlight today or something like this. I don't know. Um, yeah, back home, back at the yurt and just busy. You see, it has been snowing quite a lot while I was not home and now you can also see the snow is melting <laughs> and yeah I'm removing snow as much as I can even though the snow does some insulating um, I have seen water do amazing things when it runs down somewhere and then kind of pools form it's kind of makes it flow upwards and the whole roof is designed that water flows mainly downwards like you see the seams overlap in this direction so yeah so I'm removing snow and yeah it's so nice to be back nice to be back home and see the forest how it has changed how um, the trails that I have seen in the summer are not used by some animals and some trails are used that are not used in the summer so the snow changes really everything here and I'm grateful that we have snow like I remember a few winters ago or the winter before also there was times where there was very little snow and uh, it was pretty cold now it's about minus I don't know 14 or so with, uh, Celsius which is wonderful temperature it's dry <laughs> it's much easier to be without gloves in minus 12 um, when it's dry than being in I don't know minus 2 and it's wet yeah little little look backwards to the last times I've had loads of conversations um, I've started to ask what is enough from people uh, wanted to know actually uh, what I asked mostly is like what questions do you carry in the moment with you big top th one of the top three questions and like when getting into conversations I noticed that everyone that I talk with somehow is aware that big change needs to happen uh, and that we have really that there is an urgency and Still, I find that we are so, I don't know, paralyzed sometimes in, in not knowing how to, how to act or how to live, um, how to make this change happen. Like there's a lot of how, the how question seems quite important. Um, and, and I think the why question should be clear. Um, we need to change because of life. And uh, a very interesting conversation that I had was with somebody who was a, a COVID vaccine um, um, opponent. Like he was opposing the idea of vaccinating and still very well understood the benefits for the population of the humans. Um, the thought was more if we would ask all other species what they want that humans put so much effort into um, getting immunity <laughs> and it's it's quite interesting thought um, also the whole thought about living life as I don't know long as possible or um, yeah somehow we, we we are quite fixated with the idea that we want to get old um, and I w I'm wondering why. What, what's the what's the benefit? What's in it for it even uh, for us? Like, and I'm I'm quite settled with the idea that I can die any day because of something happens, um, and and that would be okay. Like, and and now I'm thinking that. What if I, let's say, get turned only 50? So should I make my life ready already now for this? Thinking that I was born without anything, should I die without anything? 
is it time to start to build down my life? Um, when I look at the world and I'm, I'm like wondering what is my role in this? Like, is it even my job to raise awareness? Is it my, my job to, you know, push, push these buttons that the, the ship is sinking? Or should I, you know, shovel water or plug holes or, um, or, or should I even continue to rip out, out wooden planks out of the hull of our ship to feed it into our 5G engine? <laughs> um, because w what does it matter, right? What does it matter? Hmm. And, and I feel that I have spent so much energy and time and money and resources and freedom also in, in this whole fighting of um yeah bad bad um bad behavior unuseful things that we do we humans like building highways when we need to build forests and many other things where we are just slipped into a into a habit of not knowing better like when i think of i don't know countries like germany or so like there was just 70 fat years and we have been born into into a surrounding where certain way of life was possible and advertised and highly privileged and i walk into a supermarket and i see a 15 meter long meat desk and i wonder how does this des does this add up like the awareness of that we need to change and then this 15 meter meat desk or the supermarket in the first place, right? Um, and yeah, how to live. I, I don't know how to live. I can only, you know, look at my own life and consider what to do. I can, I can recommend the full moon full stop because that gives solutions that fit to your own life. Um, so it's, it's, it's a tool, right? That I so happily share. Um, and, and the idea of, you know, tying, carrying a spoon with you, you know, uh, might, might be also something to do, just just to acknowledge that we already have more spoons than people and there's, there's no, no place or reason for a system that produces more spoons than even thinks what is the more sustainable spoon to make. <laughs> it's kind of funny, um, because more sustainable is not enough, yeah. So, um, yeah, what's next? Um, sleeping, sleeping, like I've decided that now in January, I want to go to sleep somewhere between the official and the astronomical sunset and get up somewhere between the astronomical and, um, civil sunrise. So when it's still dark, when it's already dark, going to sleep. So I think it's the winter is the time for wisdom and sleeping and dreaming and yeah getting getting excited and curious and having some visions for the coming coming times the spring and the summer and the time of daylight and of course it makes life also easier to just sleep a lot because while sleeping there's not much harm being done and i don't need to heat the yurt while i'm sleeping Having the insulation close to the body, maybe just a hot water bottle or two. Um, it, it's so wonderful to sleep in the yurt. Oh, I'm unbelievable, unbelievable. I've been thinking about this, like adding more insulation, but the sacrifice would be uh, not to hear the outside and not to have the, the cool, fresh air in the night um, while, while sleeping warm. Um, it's really wonderful. Um, yeah in what's next also is end of january and end of february um, the week before the full moon i'm going to um, host um, or facilitate or i don't know um, initiate um, a winter wisdom week where the idea is to disconnect to connect where the idea is to find find time for gratitude and 
be off grid and offline and with the snow as it is now I can imagine to build some nice snow shelters so even if it's really cold outside inside the snow shelter it will be just somewhere below zero and yeah sleeping in a snow shelter is like it's so strange it's like sleeping underwater it's like a cocoon um no sounds not much light comes in from outside well actually yeah and just going there to to spend a week of dreaming and sleeping and maybe fasting or little eating um very low energy consumption really going down to a minimum and and then use the daylight to be outside and then go back to sleep um curious what comes from this um, especially doing it together and sharing afterwards um, what wisdoms we found so yeah this is going to be end of january end of february uh, something that anyone can do anywhere easily so well, i think so not anyone not anywhere i guess <laughs> yeah well yes need to figure things out need to get some thoughts straight understanding our priorities and understanding what to do and how to do it in our own lives and then maybe asking why don't we do it <laughs> i think it's so so easy to blame and and try to get the system changed by changing trying to change the system trying to influence politicians and companies and the the thing is that like i've been spending now years writing emails to companies commenting on their uh, code of conduct giving give, giving hints on sustainable operations um just trying to be helpful and and highlighting our common ground our common motivations for big big change um like our situation is really serious but also like <laughs> so so many reasons to be hopeful and um i think i think just accepting is a big one um also proactive proactive change is, is another big one looking at our food where does it come from what can we do to get independent from money and supermarkets um permaculture and and then just nature nature connection nature connection uh, like i can't i think i can't say it often enough nature connection nature connection nature connection it's um really like by the words of john young nature connection mentor um the medicine that our world needs the most for sure uh, for sure and and that's it's it's really a beautiful thing it's fun it's um so enriching life and it's so easy to get um, and nobody who gets it ever wants to get rid of it <laughs> so it's not a trend and and it really is helpful to understand and connect with ourselves and each other and with the rest of nature so i think that's it for me for for now um somewhere mid january 2021 I, I don't know why do we even count these numbers the days i think it's th so strange to to think about the past like having you know not being able to forgive right that's what it means if you if you you can't forgive if you if you think about the past um and we have so good reasons to to forget all our conflicts and really just break down our borders imagine there's no countries because it's just nature everywhere nature has no borders there's no border between you know me and somebody who is living on the other side of whatever man-made border there is no border and i 
And when I think about the pleasure of, of sharing and giving and seeing how others enjoy, I mean, it's, it's the best pleasure I know is to see how somebody else is enjoying. And being able to contribute to this by just, you know, even just by, by walking around with a smile on your face, you know, because we, we mirror each other. When we see someone smiling, we smile. Um, I'm very he hopeful, very hopeful um, that we can do whatever challenge we believe is there. Um, the challenge is not climate change, it's not about climate change, it's not about COVID. It's, it's really about, I don't know, it makes a connection. Greeting each other and being grateful. Um, and each other means also humans. That's sometimes easy to forget. Have a good time. Thank you. Bye-bye.